Do you need a new heating and cooling system? Are you thinking about getting an air source heat pump? Do you wonder whether you should get mini splits or use central air? I'm Kata, grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about it. This video consists of four parts, financials, FAQs, functionality and other facts to help you decide if an air source heat pump is right for you. So how much do they cost and how long does it take to break even? We've had our two cold climate heat pumps for about a year. We've saved $1,200 in heating costs. The electricity cost for the heat pumps was probably $1,400, and we had been spending $3,000 on propane. The cold climate heat pump is estimated over the course of a winter in Vermont to be about 40% of the electricity that it would require if you just had like a, a resistance heater. In 2019, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority released the analysis of residential heat pump potential and economics. This report contains annual electricity bills and savings per installation for single families and small multifamilies. In this study, the annual savings of air source heat pumps in new constructions and existing buildings, as well as mini splits and geothermal source heat pumps, are compared to fuel, oil and natural gas, as well as electric heating. So for instance, if you replace your natural gas furnace, you can save $2,740 a year if you're a Central Hudson customer. At the same time, your electricity bill will increase by $819. If you replace electric heating with an air source heat pump, your electricity bill will decrease. I think it's interesting that I can only find one case on this table for which it's not worth to install an air source heat pump. As a New York State electric and gas customer, it's slightly more expensive to use an air source heat pump. That's for new constructions of New York State electric and gas customers. For everyone else, installing an air source heat pump is worth it. For mini splits and geothermal heat pumps, it gets even better. If you want to dig deeper, check out the link in the description below. The cost of installing an air source heat pump depends on the type of the heat pump, the quality of the equipment, the installation complexity and more. Ductless heat pumps cost between $3,500 and $5,000, while a central air source heat pumps cost between $12,000 and $20,000. Switching to an air source heat pump results in significant annual savings in most cases. If we run the mini split instead of the boiler, then the mini split only costs an average of $57 per month. So that's only $342 per heating season. So over the six years that we've had this system running, that saved us $5,748. According to the Northeast Energy Efficiency Partnership, property owners who switch to air source heat pumps in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic can save around 459 US dollars when compared to electric resistance heating and 948 US dollars compared to oil furnaces on average. Today, there are amazing companies with outstanding customer service and technology out there. For instance, Havas Thermal provides air source heat pumps with around 500% efficiency, slashing emissions by 90% compared to gas and 50 to 60% compared to regular heat pump systems. The harvest system typically saves between 20 and 40% on heating and hot water costs, depending on your electric rate plan, as well as your heating and hot water demand. Harvest systems reduce bills compared to alternative electric systems for a similar upfront cost, so the payback is immediate. Compared to gas systems, the payback depends on electric and gas rate plans, but it's typically between 5 to 10 years without considering any rebates, and much lower or immediate with rebates. How can air source heat pump systems be so cost effective? One of the biggest advantages, if not the biggest advantage, of air source heat pump systems is their efficiency. A well-installed air source heat pump system is capable of providing two to five times the electrical energy it consumes in the form of heat for your home. This is possible because heat pumps move heat rather than burning fuel. As a comparison, the best oil fueled furnace can only approach a one-to-one -one ratio of energy consumed to heat provided. Perhaps the most frequently asked question, financials aside, is can they work in cold climates? The answer is, it depends on the system. 
but some are getting really pretty good, way better than they used to. So we just finished a defrost cycle at negative 27 degrees in Minnesota. Holy crap, look at that. So down to negative 22, this thing just kicks ass and takes names. I was surprised that the, the manufacturer is very accurate in their rating to the operating characteristics of the unit, we'll say. Back of the unit's not frosted up or anything. And it's nice and quiet. The sand and air to water heat pump has a coefficient of performance of around 5.25 at ambient temperatures of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so 20 degrees centigrade. In the comments on my last video on geothermal heating and cooling, there was a discussion on whether doing it yourself is easy or not. Generally speaking, I would say that installing an air source heat pump should be easier than installing a geothermal system. For most people who don't do do-it-yourself home improvement projects on a regular basis, hiring a professional is the way to go but installing it yourself is possible and it can save you money. Another common question is, is this the same as geothermal? And if not, what's the difference? So in principle, geothermal and air source heat pumps work the same way. However, in the case of geothermal systems, the heat is extracted from the ground. And in the case of air source heat pumps, the heat is extracted from the outside air into the home. This results in differences in installation costs and efficiency. Geothermal systems typically cost more to install and are more stable. But recent developments have shown that air source heat pumps can be quite efficient, even in cold climates. Being able to choose when to operate the air source heat pump as a function of the ambient temperature can significantly improve performance. And what about noise? And now it just went on. It's on right now. I'm right next to this machine right now. You can barely hear it working. You can hear that crow more than you can hear this um, this heat pump. Um, this will deliver about 14, 15 kilowatts of heat output. If you already have a central heating system, you might not have to change any of your duct work, which can significantly lower your upfront cost. If you don't have a central heating system, mini splits might be an interesting option. Mini splits help you to zone, enabling different temperatures in different rooms. Air source heat pumps also can increase your life quality by providing clean air. The heat pumps have a filter in them. Um, most of our filtering is done by the heat recovery ventilator. And one of the things we noticed after we've been here a while was the house didn't get dusty. We find it keeps the house super comfortable. The house just works. We love our heat pumps. The coefficient of performance, COP, is a universal, unitless measure of efficiency. You might have come across the SEER, the Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. In the US, the SEER is the ratio of heating or cooling in British thermal units to the energy consumed in watt hours. Before you go ahead and purchase your air source heat pump, I'd encourage you to look up the model number and compare it to other models at the link provided in the description below. If our environment is as important to you as it is to me, I'd encourage you to look up the refrigerant of the air source heat pump. Some companies use more environmentally friendly refrigerants compared to others. Once it's installed, you might want to consider the following to get the best out of your heat pump. The external unit needs to be clear of any obstacles that may be blocking the airflow. Check that the pressure gauge on your unit in your house is in the correct pressure range between one and two bars. So how do air source heat pumps work? A heat pump is the most efficient heating and cooling system available today. That's because rather than generating heat by burning fuel, a heat pump transfers heat from one place to another. A much more efficient use of electricity. A typical air source heat pump has an outdoor unit containing the compressor and condenser that work in conjunction with your indoor handling unit. In the warmer months, a heat pump pulls heat from inside your home and transfers it outside. That's essentially what an air conditioner does, since air conditioners are heat pumps that only can pump heat in one direction. In the cooler months, the process works reverse. The heat pump extracts heat from the outside air and transfers that heat into your home. Even on cold days, the air usually contains enough heat to warm your home. On extremely cold days, a heat pump has an electric resistance heating element, which can be used to provide auxiliary heat. That's it for now on air source heat pumps. These videos take a long time 
to create. So if you got value out of this, I'd very much appreciate it if you could leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And I'd be thrilled if you check out the Patreon link below. Let me know what your thoughts are and see you in the next video. Bye.